Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Friday's lunch menu will be mozzarella cheese sticks or chocolate chip muffin platter. February is Black History Month. Today we will learn about Ida B. Wells. Ida B. Wells was an investigative journalist and educator and an early leader of the civil rights movement. Ida was a natural born activist. Whenever she saw injustice, she stood up against it. A couple examples from her life are when she was in college, she worked as a teacher, but lost her job for criticizing the poor conditions of the black segregated schools. Later in her life, she purchased a first-class train ticket in Memphis, Tennessee. She was told to leave her first-class seat and go to the African-American car. She refused to leave her seat. This was 71 years before Rosa Parks. Ida did not go quietly. She started writing articles in the newspaper under the pen name Iola. Journalism became her outlet. She used her words to stand up for what was right. She became the owner of the Memphis Free Speech and Headlight, which was a newspaper. In 1896, Wells formed the National Association of Colored Women and was a founding member of the NAACP. In 1913, Wells began working for women's suffrage, especially promoting black women. Ida B. Wells worked her whole life standing up to injustice. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Miss Bailey, and it is Fact-Friday for my third, fourth, and fifth graders. You're doing multiplication on quizzes, and on my second graders are making tens this week on quizzes for Fact-Friday. So good luck on you guys after this video, and when your teacher tells you to, you can go ahead and get started on that. I hope you practice, and don't forget, so to uh, our, our Khan Academy, um, competition for this week uh, is going to end Sunday night. So you have all day today, Friday, and then you have the weekend. So those of you who want to work over the weekend, I'm going to let, include that too. So I'm looking for the top three kids for, of each class that have the most skills leveled up on your grade level. It has to be on your grade level. So if you're, if you're in third grade, you should be working on third grade Khan Academy uh, assignments. So Make sure you're working on your grade level so that your work gets counted towards your uh, competition. We've got some great, great prizes for you guys uh, that I'll be giving out in the cafeteria on Monday or Tuesday. And i um, looking for those top three kids, again, uh, that level up the most skills on Khan Academy. So get going on that. And then on Monday... I'll announce a new Khan Academy contest that we will be starting. Also, for my fourth and fifth graders, we will see you on Saturday from 9 to 11. Um, we're going to have fun uh, here working some extra overtime, uh, making sure we're successful this year. All right, have a good day. Have a good weekend. Bye. I can't wait till Monday when the Scholastic Online Book Fair will be open. Make sure you take the flyer home with the website to show your parents you can shop together. Also, the link to the book fair will be in the Media Center Google Classroom and your teachers will class dojo the link to your parents. Have fun shopping! <laughs> Next week, February 15th through 19th is Kindness Week. So we are going to have a Kindness Spirit Week. On Monday, wear red to show we love being kind at Boca L. On Tuesday, it's the 100th day of school. So you're never too old to be kind. So dress like you're 100 years old to celebrate being kind on the 100th day of school. On Wednesday, kindness ties us together, so wear tie-dye. On Thursday, we are crazy for kindness, so wear a crazy mismatch outfit. And on Friday, 
We are kind at Boca L, so wear your Boca L t-shirt. If you don't have one, wear our school colors, which are green and white. It's gonna be a great kindness week next week. One easy way we can make sure to keep our self and our school safe is by wearing our mask correctly. Always make sure your mask is two or more layers. It completely covers your mouth and nose and it fits snugly with no gaps on the side. 